Good day, my audience. You're welcome once again to this channel, Dr. Fred Academy. In this uh, short video, we shall be looking at the branches of the ascending iota and the aortic arch. Um, first of all, from the picture we have, uh, we take this as the heart. Okay, so at this point, the iota leaves the heart. Okay, it is a common knowledge that um, the first branch of the Iota is the coronary artery, okay, which lies within the coronary groove. Okay, so the next branch of the iota is actually a major trunk or iota, which is called the brachiocephalic trunk. So this is the ascending iota, okay, this is the ascending iota, and then the aortic arch, which curves to now give rise to the descending iota, okay, so the it goes this way, it ascends, okay, now forms an arch, and then descends. Okay, so the first or second branch of the iota here, the second branch of this iota is the brachiocephalic trunk. And then in this video, we shall be looking at the dog specifically, okay, in the canine. Uh, because there are species variations. In my next video, I shall be... You know, showing you some of the variations, okay, on how these uh, different vessels uh, emanate from the iota and other vessels. Okay, so in this video or in the dog, the second branch, apart from the coronary artery, the second branch is the brachiocephalic trunk. So this is the brachiocephalic trunk, okay, it's the brachiocephalic trunk. Now, the brachiocephalic trunk. As you can see, supplies the head, okay, of course from the name cephalic, okay, it supplies the head, the neck, and the cranial part of the thorax, okay. Now, as the brachiocephalic trunk continues, it gives rise to the, uh, to what we call the right subclavian artery, okay. So, from here, that is what was shown, okay, by this XSSS and all that. So from here, it gives rise to the right subclavian artery. And then the, the continuation of the right subclavian artery forms the axillary artery. So from this point onwards is the axillary artery, which supplies the four limbs. Okay, now let's take these three parts which we can see or evident in our uh, picture here. I take it again, the brachiocephalic trunk, the subclavian, right subclavian artery, and then the axillary artery. Uh, if I should recap, I said the brachiocephalic trunk, which is this, supplies the, the head, the neck, and the cranial part of the thorax. The, sub, the right subclavian artery supplies the forelimbs and structures of the neck, and then the costal cervical junction. While the axillary artery, which is a continuation of the right subclavian artery, the axillary artery supplies the forelimbs. In this species, the brachiocephalic trunk, uh, before it reaches or it gives rise, rise to the right subclavian artery, it gives out or gives off two, uh, that is the left and right common carotid artery. Okay, the left and right common carotid artery. Okay, now this common carotid artery actually uh, supplies the head and structures in the head. Okay, at a point, the common carotid arteries, each of them bifurcates, okay, they bifurcates to give rise to the internal and external carotid artery. Now, the internal carotid artery supplies the brain, okay, while the external carotid artery supplies the structures of the face, okay. Now, from what we can see on this part, that is the structures that, uh, that, that, uh, emanates from the right subclavian artery, similar structures are found in the left subclavian artery. Okay, for instance, this is this vertebral artery, the first branch of the subclavian artery is here. That's the vertebral artery, it is same here. So, this is referred to as the right vertebral artery, while this is the left vertebral artery. Here we have the costal cervical artery, the right costal cervical artery, we have the left costal cervical artery or trunk okay another branch of the right subclavian artery is the the superficial cervical 
artery okay so here we also have the left superficial cervical artery okay we also have the internal thoracic artery and external thoracic artery same thing applies here the left internal thoracic artery and then the left external thoracic artery now in my next video i shall be showing you the differences okay between this species and other species and how these structures uh, are given off or on how they emanate from the this major uh, trunk that is the brachiocephalic trunk thank you for watching uh, please do well to drop your comments uh, where necessary and don't forget to subscribe to this video or to this channel sorry dr fred academy don't forget also to click on the notification bell icon so you can be notified in our as we you know post our videos thank you